hello viewers in today's video i have found another motor it's uh, <laughs> very small but i like it because the wires they are thick there outside one it's a uh, one mm and the one inside looks like it's about 0 0.7 0 0.6 or something like that starting wire okay it's small it was in a bad situation so i tried to repaint it so at least maybe you know all right so today we're not gonna use these as you know these ones they're the one we use all the time when we're doing uh, when we're converting the motors like this into generator so as you can see right here once we push this inside the space left there the space is very small we can't fit any size of magnets so comparing to the one we used last time you can see this one it has a bigger hole at the middle so once you push this inside see the space the space aside is very big so instead of this stuff we're gonna use uh, I made this it's a wooden one so it's dirty but well, I believe it's going to do a great job. It's a wood. Just drill at the middle, then draw some lines. Here, we're going to align our magnets, the space, and another pole of magnets. Okay, so you can see it has these black lines side by side. That means we're going to have south pole, north pole this side. And just... Uh, uh, this one, the capacitor, I don't think we're going to use. Uh, no, we're not going to use this capacitor. And I just want to show you we that I have upgraded the magnets. These are the ones we've been using. Now, we got another ones, new ones. Well, not really new, but in our hands, it's new okay and a little bit longer than the old ones you can see that and uh, so many people used to ask where do i get these magnets uh, and they used to ask about the type of magnets this is what i have been saying you know this is the wheel of hoverboard see the inside that's where i found all the magnets i have okay from the first smaller ones to those and to these ones this is how i find the magnets all right when you're taking them out you need to be more careful especially the first one you need to hit it slowly slowly i will advise you to use a rubber hammer if you have and hit slowly with something like a chisel slowly but anyway you can lose maybe one there's a 30 inside so I recommend this way for me because it's cheaper because every hoverboard it has two wheels so once you buy one hoverboard it will be cheap and you'll get 60 magnets it will be different magnets it depends but if you go for the big off-road hoverboard you'll get more than uh, i mean the bigger than these ones okay so it's cheap than to order online because to get 60 magnets ooh, it's expensive anyway we're done about it so now we're not using these ones let's try the new ones so we're gonna fit these new ones right in here okay so I'm gonna pause the video to fit the magnets inside okay now it's done oh uh, we have to mark them even though we cannot mark but just to show right let's say this is south pole all of them they are in the same pole okay so here is our south pole and then let's give this one as our north pole all right now we have south and north all right so 
just to show you this the north south because we mark south or north no but because check this even if you can push this cannot stack in any kind of magnets which are this side because uh, the sides are the same that means if we give this one to the north uh yeah the name of north that means this side too it is in north position so so you can see here they can't repair okay but if we tear we turn this okay now south comes in see now they can see that okay so when you're arranging your magnets make sure it's happening the same thing one side must need to repair okay and another side they must repair all right now you know that you are in the right way okay anyway now let's start assembling okay first let's push this back here right then this side will go in there let's check All right, everyone, to make it easier, I glue it up down there. And these are the wires we're going to use. Okay, check under here, nothing. Oh, come on. Well, I don't know what's going on here, but there we go. Right, and here is our machine. Or our generator right check it out there we go okay right so let's start testing out we're gonna start with this 20 watts okay it's uh from microwave uh, there I hope you can see there 20 watts right so let's connect it right here right here okay and plug the in right now I think we have to connect the multimeter 250 AC okay this side and this side right okay so now let's see if we can be able to power that because we don't know exactly how many watts do we have in this motor so first we're going to start with this light bulb 20 watts then this machine is 55 watts then at the end we're going to do 100 watts light bulb okay then we're going to take our chances start putting all of them together and see if we can be able to power them all but now one by one let's see 20 watts if we're going to power it up so your choice to look on the multimeter or to look on a light bulb here's a light bulb here's a multimeter ready okay one more time 
Ready? Okay. That was 20 watts light bulb. Moving on. Now we are going to power. Let's leave multimeter here. We're done with that. Now let's check up this so we can be able to power it. All right. Okay, our rope is ready. Let's check it out. Double check. Off, on, right. Ready? <laughs> One more time. all right now i see worked again another win all right now let's go to the 100 watts light bulb let's see if we can make it all right please if you're new don't forget to subscribe and if you love the video, please support me by liking the video. I appreciate it. All right. Now it's 100 watts time. There we go. Choice is yours to check there or to look at the bulb. All right. Let's do this. Well, now I can feel some little resistance here. That means there is some load. All right. Anyway, we're going to make it. Okay, ready? Ooh. Wait. One more time, one more time. Ah, ah, ah. Watts. Oh, the motor looks so small, but well, it's doing some great job. Okay. Right, one more time. Okay, now as I said, this is 100 watts. Let's start adding. Now, this is 20 watts. Now, we're going to carry 120 watts. Let's see. Remember, we're doing this because we don't know how many watts do we have from that motor because it has no any details. All right, so. Double check. We're good. All right. Ooh. Okay. All right, now we have two light bulbs. Let's see if we can make it. Oh, see that guys? All right, I'm gonna do it again. Okay, one more time. See that? Okay, you know what? Let's add this 55 watts. I believe we can make it. 
check this it's not even that hard of course there's some resistance but spin easily well let's see when we add this machine uh, over there blue right here and brown to the right hey okay let's see now oh yeah now i can feel that it's loaded but it's still spinning free look at that I'm even making eight volts with my hand rotation all right anyway uh are you coming out you don't have to run away stay here we need you right here right cool now let's see if we can make it Okay. <clears throat> well, it's on. Hot. Ready, guys? What? Seriously? I doubted this motor. I don't you know we can be able to get so many watts like that? Because, guys, look at this. This is. The one we did before, I hope you remember this. See that? It's like times two in this. But anyway, one more time. Ready? Ooh. <laughs> all right, guys. That's all I got in this video. Please, if you like the video, press that like button. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching.